Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, welcome back to another celebrity reading. So today we're going to be doing a requested reading for Selena Gomez. Beautiful, young, vivacious Selena Gomez. So today we're going to look into her, um, what's going on with Selena's love life, um, currently. So we're going to try to get some insight in what's currently going on in Selena's love life. So let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Spirit guides, can you please show me with the tarot? What is currently going on in Selena Gomez's love life? Can you give me insight? I'm going to go ahead and put these back up for a minute. If they're meant to come out, they will. Can you please give me insight and information regarding Selena Gomez's current love life? What's currently going on? We got the Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Star card. Seven of Swords. We have the Page of Cups and the Hermit. Interesting. And on the bottom is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So let's take a look at this, guys. Okay, so I do think that Selena's love life is going to be picking up a lot of pay soon. The Eight of Wands relates to the month of November, like the 21st to the 30th, I think. Things picking up very quickly. Her romantic life um, is being set into motion. Possibly a new love interest. Things, love life moving very quickly. Excitement is on the horizon for her love life. Um, after a time that she's been feeling very stuck and a lot of conflict going on. So, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is her fear of giving up her independence, being very guarded. Um, she's been unconsciously pushing others away because of her guardedness. She's put in a lot of effort and she has a lot of desire to be with someone she has. But her past wounds were kept her from an inability to feel and be able to genuinely open up to someone else. So she needed to address herself, like um, address what needed to be healed, heal herself before she tried to become a partner and spend her life with someone. She desires that, but she doesn't want to feel stifled or disenchanted in, in a relationship with someone. She doesn't want to rush it. She wants for it to be right. She wants to work on herself enough, the star, to heal herself from the past wounds that she's had. Getting to the root cause of her issues, um, and discovering what it is that she needs from a partner and what it is that eventually they will need from her and not being afraid, you know, learning how to be in a healthy relationship. It's very hard because of the past, the lies. She's been very guarded and felt like she wasn't able to open up. And she's also very suspicious. So with other people, it's hard for her. The past has taken a toll on her, which made her very suspicious, like they're hiding something. Um, unable to trust, feeling like she's being lied to. Very untrusting of her potential partners and leading them on as well. She. It seems like she went through, she's basically like the honeymoon stage, the passion, the excitement, but it's never too deep. It's always superficial. 
after a certain point, she just cuts it off. And that was, in some ways, to heal herself. Um, the Page of Cups shows this new... She's finally ready. She finally has a fresh perspective. She's ready to be happy. Um, she feels like she's ready to finally find love and be sensitive and be able to be completely vulnerable with someone. Um, however, she won't rush it. She's not going to rush whatever it is. It's going to feel like she wants to because like, you know, when you know, you know, this person that comes in her life she is it's gonna make her feel things that she hasn't felt in a long time but because of her withdrawing and the solitude that she's had and the pause in her love life she now understands the importance of building strong bonds making a strong foundation um she understands herself and what she wants and she's not going to settle for less and All of her fears are going to be able to be put to rest by a partner who instead of being scared, she's all in, you know, and vulnerable and open and she'll just know is it everything bad that ever happened to her will be worth it for the love that she gets. I think that it's going to happen around November or December. This is Aquarius, so this is, and this is also the public eye, so the, it might become public. This is an Aquarius card, so maybe in January, on the January, February, it'll become public and it'll be, there'll be no doubt about it. There'll be, you know, it'll be just, it's going to spark something inside of her that's almost like kid-like, joy-like, almost like she never felt pain before or the pain that she felt was worth this. You know what I mean? And I don't think it's Chris Evan. I do not think that. This is going to be, in my opinion, a um, air sign male. I don't know why I'm picking that up. That's going to be um, a Libra, Aquarius, or... Um, Oh my goodness, what is other? Gemini. It's going to be an air sign male. And it's going to seem, because she's, I think she's already kind of talking to this person. They're kind of like sending emails or texting each other. They're communicating, but it's light and simple. But it's only because she's kind of putting the stop on that a little bit because she's still scared and still doubtful. But this person is going to basically sweep her off her feet. And she's going to know that she has nothing to fear. And I love that for her. I can't wait. Ah, love it. Let me know what you guys think. Love y'all.